Nowadays, it seems like Israel's main diplomatic challenge is the BDS movement. But the truth is that the Jewish state has always struggled with its international reputation. So, how can Israel improve its image worldwide? Joining us today in the studio is a veteran diplomat for the State of Israel, Ambassador Itzak Eldan, to discuss the changing face of Israel's diplomatic efforts. Thanks so much for coming in. Shalom, Natasha. Shalom. So I understand that in addition uh, to having served as ambassador, you are also the president of the Ambassadors Club. Can you tell us about that? Sure. First of all, uh, you mentioned that uh, we have a problem of reputation. I don't think that it is a problem of a reputation. It's more a problem of image. We have a greater reputation in the world, by the way, in most parts of the world. Israel is known as a champion of science, champion of culture, not champion in Olympics. We have only, we had only two medals, but we are We're no, getting there. We are ch champion of progress. Uh, read today what the Israeli doctors discovered uh, to stop cancer, melanoma cancer. cancer. Yes. It's in our new show today, so keep on yes, watching. Yes, so every day Israel delivered to the world fantastic news about things which can help humanity, which helped humanity. And what about the high tech? And what about the agriculture? So we have so much. So our reputation is fantastic. Yes, there is a problem of the territories. And yes, the settlements and so on. And next year will be a very, very important year. You know why? Why is that? Because 2017 will be the anniversaries of so many events. 100 year of the Balfour Declaration in November 2nd. Right, of course. 50 years of the Six-Day War, the reunification of Jerusalem, the anniversary, and uh, the two four two resolutions, United Nations Security Council, this resolution which is still today the basis of solving the conflict. So next year will be a tough year. In addition to that, we have next month in September, the United uh, the Nation General, uh, General Assembly starting with, a, with attacks from, from the Palestinians and with, also with the international, commu international community trying to put on the table the French initiative supported by the Palestinians but rejected by Israel because we prefer direct negotiations and not international right. uh, conventions and gathering which will impose a solution on Israel. So tell us about how the Ambassadors Club itself so, uh, the, ambassadors, the Ambassadors Club is the result of my seven years as a Chief of State Protocol. A Chief of State Protocol in Israel is responsible inter alia also of all the diplomats and to take care uh, of them from arrival till they leave the country, about four years. I believe that uh, it is very important to invest in those people who are four years in Israel. They are close to the reality, they live the reality. And uh, I thought that it was not enough uh, that those diplomats will be only in touch with official authorities, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, other ministries. And when I quit the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 2010, I decided to establish a club, non-official, totally independent, non-political, in order to take care of the, especially the, the ambassadors and their wives and to offer to them activities non-political activities, visits to Israel. I expose them to the Israeli public. I have a program, Meet the Ambassador. I organize the days, special days, like uh, the International Women Days on the 8th of March. I, I invited all the women ambassadors in Israel, and we have about 12 of them. I invited them for, on, this, on this special occasion. So can you talk to us about, you know, as a former diplomat, why is there such a need to create additional platforms for diplomats to come here to Israel and also Israeli ambassadors who it's, are now retired to reach out to other people? It's of the because world? of what you, you mentioned today. Yes, we have a problem of uh, image. Reputation is uh, too much, but uh, we have a, an image problem. But this is, not, this is not new to Israel. This is not new to the Jewish people since the beginning of, of, uh, of uh, the Jewish people, we had the problem of image. When Abraham started with his monotheism, there was a problem of image. When Jesus continued with, uh, with Christianity, there was a problem of image for the Jews. And when Moses started with his new laws and, 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 and the Ten Commandments, what a problem of image we had at the time. 
when uh, there was slavery and all this and this, and suddenly the Jewish people brings to the world a new set of laws. So this is not new to us. But uh, today, uh, we take it uh, very seriously because we feel that there is a moment where the, the image problem can affect also your development, can affect uh, the quantity of tourists that will, they will, come, will come to Israel, and the tourists are the best, the best ambassadors of Israel. So therefore, you must invest in that, not to exaggerate. Today, yesterday, the Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dori Gold, Ambassador Dori Gold, he was in Africa, maybe he's still there meeting with leaders of countries, Muslim countries, who don't have relations with Israel. So we are succeeding to do things and to develop our countries and to make our country one of the best in the world in spite of the image problem. But I, and I continue to say we must invest in that. It is a must for us and for our children and for the, vis the, the visage the, the, the of, of Israel. So speaking of our children, I understand that you are also involved in a school for young ambassadors for Israel. Tell us about this school. Why is it important to train young uh, ambassadors for Israel? You see, the world is changing. All the time it's changing. We live in the global village now. And the Israelis, because of the conflict, used to, uh, to live in, in the area, in Israel, with, uh, with enemies around and only with the sea where they can take uh, a boat or to take a flight uh, overseas. And so the, uh, the psychology of the young generation of Israel in the beginning were of, of a people uh, besieged. And this was what they knew. And we have the conflict and that's all. And then there is the Middle East and that's all. But uh, today we live in a global world, in a global village. And I saw it as my duty to establish a school where we can teach the Israeli youngster how to manage in a global, in a global village, and which is much different than uh, what they knew before. And today, with the communication uh, 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 ways, uh, so modern uh, communication tools, you can reach the world very easily. So our goal is to raise generation of Israeli youngsters, age 15, 17, to know how to, to, uh, to manage themselves in the global village and to have this kind of international orientation so that they can live, live in, in, in a global village. We well, take them abroad after the two years course, we take them abroad to all the capitals of Europe. And now we will start with China and next year also to, to the United States. Uh, this is very important because uh, we are small people still, six and a half million, and with the Arabs, eight million. And by the way, in my school, you have Arabs and Druze uh, and Jews and religious, non-religious. It is a, a school which is all over the country, dispersed in 100 schools. So these are groups of youngsters dispersed in all the countries and they have this two years course to become young ambassadors. Well, you know, hopefully this is going to brighten the future of Israel, having trained such, you know, young people to be able to represent the country uh, throughout the world. It's uh, really very important. Uh, one day, some of them might become ambassadors. Look how they are happy when they are abroad representing Israel uh, in different uh, European capitals. What is important, it really, that a small nation needs big ambassadors. This is a phrase that Albert Einstein told to Abba Ibn, one of the biggest ambassadors. He was in New York at the time, ambassador uh, also to the United States and to the UN. And Albert Einstein told, uh, told Abba Ibn, small nations need big ambassadors. Big nations don't need big ambassadors because they might speak for, the, for right. itself. But small nations need such big ambassadors, and I believe that as long as we have Jewish communities all over the world, as long as we have interests, so many interests all over the world, as long as we can bring the light to so many nations, and we are doing it, so we need uh, this kind of courses and raising the, the young Israeli to perform, to communicate with the world. Thank you so much for coming in, sir. Toda, Natasha, it was my pleasure.